All right, so this is Nan. I'm here with John Wong from uh, from BlackBerry. He's a product manager, and he's going to show us some of the new features of 2.0 on the Playbook. Great, great. Yeah, super excited to talk about Playbook OS 2.0. Uh, there's kind of three key themes that we're focused on for OS 2.0. One is communication, the second is productivity, and the third is applications. And so from a communication and productivity standpoint, we want to make sure that we deliver that best in class kind of communication and productivity experience that people are used to with BlackBerry smartphones, and we want to deliver that on Playbook. So we're delivering with OS 2.0 native email, contacts, and calendar. But we're going beyond just your standard applications. We're going to really bring it to the next level. We're introducing this whole uh, concept of social dynamic, right? So if you think about a lot of social mediums we're using today, so Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, you name it, we're going to integrate those into those applications so you get the latest and greatest information of your contact, right? So we're taking it beyond just you know your, your basic information about that person. We're going to take it to the next level so you actually can build a relationship with the people that you want to stay in contact with, whether it's personal or work. Um, another exciting thing that we're doing beyond you know the core communication and productivity with respect to uh, messages and contacts and calendar is things we're doing is some key applications. So for instance, if we go here to Citrix Receiver, uh, this is a great application for the enterprise, right? And, and with come February, we're going to see a lot of presence of Playbook for the enterprise uh, with our announcement of Mobile Fusion, which helps secure and manage these uh, Playbook devices, but also with key enterprise applications like Citrix Receiver that will allow you to access a lot of enterprise uh, data and applications. So for instance, I have a full virtual desktop running here, um, and I can interact with the application, interact with the desktop. I can swipe down and multitask between applications, so that's what's really unique about Citrix on our on Playbook, is that you can actually multitask between applications. I can swipe up here and even multitask you know, within the OS as well, but within that application. And another a really uh, slick little feature we have here for uh, Playbook OS 2.0 is what we're doing with Bridge. So we're enhancing Bridge to really complement and integrate with the Playbook, uh, or integrate the BlackBerry smartphone with the Playbook a lot better. So what we introduced was a feature called Remote Control. So as you see here, I'm actually using my BlackBerry smartphone as a remote control for my Playbook. And so the major use case we're seeing is that um, you know, when you want to plug in your, your playbook to a larger screen, so by HDMI to a monitor, projector, um, a great use case of if I want to present wireless, wirelessly, right? So I can take my BlackBerry smartphone, be anywhere, engage with the audience, not have to be worried about being tethered to where my playbook is. I can just connect it to the HDMI monitor and away I go. And I have full access to navigate completely around the device. So as you can see here, I even have the bezel gesture. So I can swipe up from the bottom of the BlackBerry smartphone and it gives me the gesture that I would have on the playbook. I can swipe down for options. I can swipe again, you know, left and right between applications. And where this comes really powerful is for certain applications that really need that kind of fine precision navigation. And a perfect example of that again is Citrix, right? Where I need to navigate through applications that are, you know, or user interfaces that are a little bit more precise. So I can go there, open up PowerPoint, for instance. It runs a PowerPoint application. So not only can I navigate, I can actually input. So I can actually type here and say this. Test. So I can use the BlackBerry keyboard, which everyone knows and loves, to actually input onto my playbook as well. So it becomes a very, again, productive tool, right? It's all about communication, productivity, and applications. So along those lines with applications, not only are we building very compelling native applications and our developers are building native applications. So as you see here, we have you know a bunch of business applications, uh, Citrix, SAP, Routers. We have a, a host of different pr uh, product productivity applications like Box, Evernote, uh, Print2Go, our Docs2Go. We're enhancing Docs2Go as well. Uh, we have uh, music and media, as you can see here. Actually, I'll just use this. We have social, Facebook. We also have a host of different games, right? Everything from Angry Birds to a lot of killer titles that we have coming out. And so, as you see, it's a really big platform for compelling applications, whether you need to just be entertained and play a game or to actually stay productive with something like Citrix. So, all right. John, thank you very much. No problem.